I'm here tonight with Fox News Channel anchor Patty Ann Brown. If brains were an RV, I'd ride her across the country, maybe with some friends. Nice. Allison Rosen, self-proclaimed. <laughs> Patty Ann, do you think uh, Matt's womanizing days are, are over? But more important, you have a child. Do you have any parenting advice? Uh, well, first of all, I wouldn't have had one if I were him because he's a 38-year-old kid himself. But in this situation, I would say he gave the best advice of all, just keep living. Yeah. I mean, yes. how do you beat that? I mean, that's just so profound. But mm. I also would have But the baby those... can't keep living unless he takes care of the baby. That's you just true. can't look at the baby and go, just keep living, baby. I'm going to go hang down. You go living. I think all uh, Dr. Spock's entire book can be summed up in just keep living. <laughs> Ignore all the specifics, JKL. Yeah. What, what Allison, is this? news going patty and so many people meet online now let's face it but the pin encourages you to make contact with live human beings that is kind of refreshing given the fact that humans are creepy and smelly uh, no, not refreshing at all. The thing about online dating is that you get to screen. See, that is what's missing <laughs> yeah. when you're standing on the street. You're thinking that Mr. Rich and Handsome is going to come over and talk to you. It's going to be the unemployed oh, yes. troll standing next to him. What they really I'm need not to unemployed. sell. <laughs> <laughs> no, Bill truly is a troll, and I'm the young, good-looking man. And I can see where you're coming from. When you're wearing the pin, exactly. you attract both of like, us. No. Whereas you only, you, you should just have a pin like Allison that says, "But only for Greg." <laughs> Bill, you've been. F.O. pin. Yes. <laughs> Figure it out. Bob. Yes. B Bill, you've been wearing a pin for some time now. Kids, Patty Ann, what's next? Are we going to cancel beauty pageants because someone's daughter isn't pretty enough? It's ridiculous. It really is. Uh, what I love is the quote from the guy who is saying, youth sports are not meant to single out a handful of kids. They're about making every child feel special. Mm. Really? I thought they were about teaching you life's lessons yeah. and preparing and also, you for nobody, adulthood. Nobody where wants a special kid. I mean, come on. Special kids are a pain in the neck. They think they're spe they think they, they go to better schools. They get everything they want. My mom always said it's good to be an average child. Mm. And did that make you feel better? Yes, it did. <laughs> All right. PAB, you said McConaughey's a 38-year-old kid, as if that's a bad thing. What, what part of J.K. Living don't you understand? <laughs> I, I, no, it wasn't a bad thing. Just I don't want anything to cramp his style, and I would hate right. to see him have to cut back on his partying at all. All right, I, I don't totally think you will. Totally in his camp on this. All right, Allison, I'm with you on this one. Um, whatever, very... whatever you say. You, let's hey. reintroduce everyone, shall we? Sure, why not, Greg? Okay, I will. Where's that voice coming from? Patty Ann Brown, Fox News Channel anchor. If beauty and brains were a roller coaster, I'd ride her for three minutes and then throw up. Allison Rosen, pop Biggie said it best. Let me see that thong, thong, th thong, thong, thong. He was on to something back in 2000 before his tragic death. Mm, R.I.P. Yes, but cleavage, if anything, has gotten only more popular. We're not going to be able to show this. And fashion designers haven't lost sight of what's important, showing those cheeks. Call them assless panties or bras for bums, or brums for short. But one thing's for certain, ass is the new boobs. Patty Ann, how important is it to show your cheeks? Well, Greg, you've got this all ass backwards. Mm -hmm. National Geographic <laughs> ran a thing that specifically explained the theory that we are animals and most animals mate front to back mm -hmm. and that with humans, nature had to come up with something that was going to be the visual turn on that the butt is for mm -hmm. the animals who mate the other way and that's why boobs evolved the oh, way they did. Interesting. So it's not so much that the butt is now becoming the new boobs as the other way around. Really? So boobs are actually the new butt? It seems exactly. that way. Mm -hmm. Either way, Doggy style rocks, uh, apparently. Uh, for why do you have to say the <laughs> obvious? Allison, yo, Patty Ann, do you ever feel like you chose the wrong career path? Oh, God, not a day goes by that I don't regret not being a whore when I was single. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> no, seriously, though, a reality show, I mean, doesn't this just prove that there really aren't some things that even a hooker won't do? Mm. <laughs> Good point. Bill, uh, she just dropped a lawsuit against you. Spin it out. And what, uh, what was she doing dating B.A.G. in the first place? Well, I, I think that we were onto something right there at the end where we mentioned the fact that it might not necessarily be all her dumping him. He was overheard in a restaurant. It was on this blog, Bauer Griffin, that oh, wow. the entire relationship was like on this whiteboard. There was a percentage of time that they were allowed to spend mm -hmm. on work, on friends, on each other. And, you know, you had to erase things and add things back in. And that she was constantly threatening to bring her lawyer into the relationship <laughs> yeah. and all this and it went on for an hour and the person who wrote it all on the blog had pictures of him at the
the next table, so it's like they really overheard this conversation. Sounds like she might not be a to date. You'd know, wouldn't you, Bill? You spent a lot of. Oh no, let's examine that. Yes, Greg, I've had sex with John Madden. Did you play the tape afterwards and circle? Now what you did here? Hey, uh, PAB, what the hell is this blacklist thing I keep hearing about? Uh, blacklist, my famous rock band that I used to sing in when I was in early college. Whoa. <laughs> really? Oh, hot. Basically, a basement band. Um, we did have some gigs in Queens and a couple of like backyard parties and things, but it was basically the trajectory of all of the rock bands you see on TV, except we didn't have that success arc in the middle. It was like, yeah. Work hard and then fight and you know dissolve, but without any. I like the way you said early college. Like you had, it was such a long period. Of time you have divided into epochs. The early college era. Yeah. Mm. All right. Uh, I think that's all I have time for. So back to you, Greggy. Well, thank you, Andy. You're all welcome. right. My thanks to Allison Rosen. Wonderful tonight. Please see you soon. Uh, hello to your parents who are in the green room. <laughs> Special thanks to Patty Ann Brown. Lovely as always. Bill Schultz. Disgusting, pathetic. I hate you. She's a woman.